What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing some online plant shopping. I'm also wearing a hat indoors, but my hair just looks so bad. Hey buddy! Okay. So today I hope you guys enjoy this plant shopping video. We're gonna be uh, going over like things to look for, how to know whether it's safe to pull the trigger on that shopping cart. All right, let's do it. Okay, so when you're online plant shopping, you wanna like kind of listen to what the plant community is talking about, you know? Like a good site, oftentimes, you know, they'll, they'll be super genuine and honest about what they think when they're ordering plants online. Popular ones that I've heard is Steve's Leaves and um, Hertz was a popular one for a while. So let's just start with Steve's Leaves. I'm gonna search that. All right, obviously I have searched this before. Okay, that's a big picture of a Begonia Baltic Amber. It's such a cool name. Like I wish I had that job to just name plants. Look at, look at Steve. Ugh, I just wanna like be his best friend. You know, I wanna ask him how his day is. So I'm just scrolling around. So they have like an FAQ sec, they have shipping, and then what to do when your order arrives. I love that, it's always helpful. They have auctions. So Steve's Leaves is kind of unique in that they have these auctions where you can bid on plants, obviously the more rare, you know, unicorn type plants. So let's see, hopefully my Wi-Fi is like, damn. Can you imagine spending $600 on a Monstera Deliciosa? Jeez! There are some ballers during this pandemic. I mean, yeah, they're in stock. They better be if you're paying that. String of Hearts, um, $80. That's, oh, that's a lot. Okay, Syngonium. I mean, that's cool, but $100? What? And there's still a whole day left on these, y'all. I personally draw the line. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. $500, like, come on. So Syngonian, they have String of Hearts. They have, what else? What are we talking here? Okay, Begonia is $51. So obviously I don't like chill on this page a whole lot. I just kind of look at like, you know, the normal section. So auctions are a little intense. I'm gonna skip from that. <laughs> So now I'm in like the normal people section. So this is like their catalog. Okay, so they have like, you know, regular Monstera Delicio. So what's wrong with that? That's $12. You know, maybe it can variegate itself. It's not how it works. So they got some ferns, they got some begonias. I feel like they really like their begonias here. So they have a Calathea rosy. How cute. That's like normal. It looks like a little prayer plant. You know, they're related. They're both Calatheas. So they don't like show you a ton of pictures, but this seems like pretty legit, you know, obviously. I've heard nothing but good things about Steve's Leaves, so I wouldn't hesitate. Okay, so they got some good selection. They have like a lot of rare plants. So they have some coleus. Oh my God, Roaring Fire is the name of this coleus. How radical. I love Fright Night. I love it. And this one's just Felix. They're like, let's just name it Felix. Like Roaring Fire is taken, so. We're still scrolling through. So they have a lot of things out of stock, which I'm like, okay, this is out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. We're only on page one and there's a lot of out of stock stuff. They don't just have house plants either, which I respect. You know, they have like terrariums. Let's see what terrariums they have. So they have Peperonia, Bamboo. I mean, it's all out of stock, so, okay. <laughs> Let's not get a terrarium. Everything is gone. Okay, so the next site that I know is very popular is The Sill. So I've never actually been on this website, which I know is mind blowing. Let me show you the world. So The Sill, I mean, that that's cute. I like that. I like the bed, that bed looks real comfy. So they have faux monstera stems, if you're into that. So I like their vibe. Obviously, they're really trying to appeal to younger folk. So let's just see like what they have. Like what is what is happening? So I guess I'm going to go to just like their plants. Is this their section? These are very expensive. Oh, these are subscription boxes. OK, I'm an idiot. So let's go to live plants. <laughs> so I like that they have like a low light, bright light, pet friendly, air purifying. And then they have an Echeveria 
Preta. You could get that at Home Depot for $5, just saying. Okay, Monstera Deliciosa, $56. Whew. I mean, those are, those can be harder to find, so I get it, but I got mine at a local nursery for $12, and it was that size. It was medium. Marble Queen Pothos from $50. I don't know, guys. I mean, am I crazy? Am I, like, I can find all these plants for really cheap, and maybe it's, they're bigger on this site, but I don't know. They look the same size. Pet Friendly Plants Monthly Subscription. That's fun. I mean, so you get more and more plants each month. That's kind of fun. Like their vibe is great. I love their vibe and that's what you're paying for. Let's see if it comes with the pots. And yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, well, if you're already getting like a pre, like this one's cute. I love the mint. I love cream blush. Yes. So if it's coming with these cute pots like that, I get it then. Cause those are really cute pots. Oh, they have a picture with glasses. <laughs> They're like, someone smart owns these. Thrives in bright direct light, but can tolerate bright indirect. Water every three to four weeks. Love it. That is also true. This assortment is drought tolerant. Oh, and they give a little bio. I'm obsessed. I like that. The site, I like the vibe. I love it. So if you're okay with spending a little more and you get a little cute pot out of it as well, then the sill is pretty cute. I dig it. They, they are legit. They have a huge following, so... They're doing something right, clearly. So another website I know doesn't get the best reviews is Hertz. So their site is really cute. I mean, they have a lot of good like photos and obviously they're gonna show their good reviews on there. They have like a cute vibe going on, little praying mantis, I dig it. And then let's see if they have like, wow, they have a lot of plants, y'all. They got a lot of plants, okay. So they don't just have house plants, it looks like they have everything. <laughs> they have everything. Yes, they have succulents. Okay. Snake plants. Yep. Ooh, a bloody Mary philodendron. Damn. That sounds dangerous. Oh, a little barrel cactus. You know, I once told someone that cactus was my favorite plant and they looked at me like I was insane. They were like, what? And I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> cactus are great. Like they're, they're spiky plants. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. So we can just like go look up some reviews, just see what people are saying. Cause that's always good to do before you purchase any plants. You wanna make sure that, that you know what you're getting into and you kind of research ahead of time and look up all kinds of websites, you know, all kinds of review websites. You really wanna be sure. Some of these photos look real bad. This plant, hell no. I would be so pissed if that happened. Like they're all dead. All, all the branches came off. Heartbreaking. And they sell stuff on Amazon too. Oh my God. Two and a half out of five. That is bad for Amazon. It kind of takes a lot to get really bad reviews on Amazon, I feel like. Last one that I kind of want to go over is Etsy. I haven't ordered plants from Etsy, but I feel like there's so many good plant vendors on there that I'm just, I want to explore. Etsy live plants. Okay. These are really well priced. And a lot of these vendors have great reviews. Dang, all these vendors have great reviews. That is amazing. And oh, they have like a little succulent gift box with a candle. Forget about it. I'm into it. Candles are like my life, dude. I love, I rip through candles. That's real bad. They have cute little shirts. Let's go Wandering Jew, live plants. Let's see what this vendor has. Free care guide. A lot of sales, you go, sister or brother, whoever you are. So they sell this. And then the reviews are like, I have bought the three pack of Wandering Jews before. One of them survived and is now potted. I love this. So people can just like go on here and read some reviews and grab some plants from people. And this feels like a more personal exchange than just going to like the sill or going to Steve's Leaves. So Etsy seems like a great choice. If you're looking for a more specific plant, they narrow it down a lot. So there's tons of Monsteras on here that you can choose from and just read up on the reviews, read up like care tips and watch videos on how to take care of these plants before you buy them. And then this seems like a great option. So I think that's the last website. Um, that's all we can do for now um, let me know if you guys like this video and i can look up more websites for us to shop on together honestly like shipping live plants is a tricky business so obviously they're gonna have some wins and some losses and that's just how the nature of 
shipping plants, you know? Sometimes they just won't survive the journey to your house. You can't be too harsh on these vendors, but at the same time, if they're consistently shipping bad quality, then, and, and you see that in the reviews, then you definitely wanna like red flag that, you know, that's a big red flag. We did a lot today, we conquered a lot. Um, Wesley is still there. He will always just be right there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, this weekend, I'm actually going to a cabin with like no Wi-Fi. It's like the real deal cabin. I was thinking about filming kind of like the nature around and just kind of a vlog sort of dealio. I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in. It's gonna be centered around plants still sort of. So let me know if that's of interest to you guys. I don't wanna force things on you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was extra super fascinating. And please subscribe if you haven't. Please like, please comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs>